So guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the XAMPP server on Mac OS X so you can start running your PHP from localhost. Head over to your favorite browser and in Google start typing download XAMPP. Go to the first search result and on this page select the XAMPP installer that matches your operating system. I'm on Mac OS X so I'm gonna go ahead and download the PHP 8 DMG file. Once you have it downloaded click on this arrow and go to show in folder. So double click on the file you just downloaded not VS Code, oops. Click on the file that you just downloaded. Now in this window that pops up, double click on the installer. Here click on the open button and type in your admin password. Now you can close all of these. Okay, so the XAMPP installer is going to start and simply go through it by hitting next button a lot of times keep all of the default settings. Just wait for the XAMPP installation to complete. Make sure that the launch XAMPP checkbox is selected and press the finish button. Now this will launch your XAMPP server and actually your first PHP file running on localhost. You can see that in the upper left corner in the browser. If you click on the manage servers tab, here you can control your Apache server running. You can stop or pause it you can restart it you can start or stop your mysql server and all kinds of things like that now the next thing you want to do is locate your ht docs folder which is the folder where your php file is running from now on the xamp app go to open application folder so ht docs is an important folder that's where your index php file is located and if you want to add a new PHP project or a folder for your own projects, you would do it here. So here's the default index.php file, and that's what's running on localhost right now. So I'm going to go ahead and open it in my Visual Studio Code or VS Code Editor. Just click on the open button in this dialog that pops up, and, and here you can edit your main index.php file. Now, in this simple XAMPP installation tutorial, I'm not going to show you how to write full-blown PHP applications. I might do that in one of my future tutorials. But in order to run some PHP as an example, I'm going to rewrite the default index file served by XAMPP. It's the one that's already running on localhost. So go ahead and go to Open Application Folder and locate htdocs, go in there, go into the dashboard folder, click on index.html and open it in your VS Code editor. Now I already edited this file before this tutorial started so simply type in some basic PHP. Another thing you might want to do is make sure that you actually resave this file to index.php. Now save the file and close all of your windows and open your Chrome browser and type localhost slash dashboard and also add index.php file we just edited. And as you can see we have just executed our first PHP file directly from localhost and you can type your PHP and relaunch it again in the browser.